class uh, we are doing the problems on system of circles so we'll continue that class uh, first problem is find the equation of circle which passes through origin and intersects the circles orthography that means an intersects the circles x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y plus 10 is equal to 0 x square plus y square plus 12y plus 6 is equal to 0 orthogonally so we have to find out an equation of circle which intersects the two circles orthogonally. So for that what we will do is we will assume let the equation of circle let the equation of circle as x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. We are assuming an equation of circle. This equation 1 intersects 2 orthogonally this equation 1 intersects equation 3 orthogonally so we will represent 2 and 3 so x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y plus 10 is equal to 0 equation 2 and equation 3 also we will write down x square plus y square plus 12y plus 6 is equal to 0 is equation 3 now it is given that equation of circle passes through origin. So, which equation passes through origin? Required equation passes through origin. So, which one is the required equation here? Equation 1 is the required equation of circle. We have to find out this equation 1 passes through origin. So, we will write given. What is given? Equation 1 passes through origin. Origin means 0 comma 0. So, what we will do, we will substitute 0 comma 0 in equation 1. If we substitute 0 comma 0 in equation 1, x term, x square, y square, x term, y term will become 0. Only the constant will be left. If we substitute 0 comma 0 instead of x and y, all these terms get eliminated. Only c will be left out. So, c is equal to 0. Okay. After that, what we will do is, we will write 1 and 2 orthogonal equations 1 and 2 orthogonal in the problem it is given that 1 and 2 intersect orthogonal now we have to find out equation 1 for that we use this condition so that is 2g g dash plus 2f f dash is equal to c plus c dash so 2g what is g dash from c g we have to take from equation 1 so g as it is g dash I will take from equation 2 that is minus 2 so it is minus 2 plus 2 f is nothing but f from equation 1 f is f and f dash will be 3 is equal to c plus c from equation 1 so c as it is c dash is 10 so what we will get minus 4g plus 6f is equal to 10 because the value of c is 0 I am substituting. So, I got minus 4g plus 6f is equal to 10. This is equation number 4. Right. Now, we did 1 and 2 orthogonal. Now, what we have to do is 1 and 3 orthogonal. So, equations 1 and 3 orthogonal. Okay, so I'll write the condition that is 2g g dash plus 2f f dash is equal to c plus c dash. So 2g, 2g, what is g dash from equation 3? We don't have any x term. That means g is understood to be 0 because see x square plus y square that x term is missing. So g dash is 0 plus 2f f dash is 6, f dash is 6, half of 12 is equal to c plus c dash. What is c dash? It is clearly 6 from equation 3 root c dash. Now we will get 12 f is equal to 6 because c value is 0. So 12 f is equal to 6. f is equal to 6 by 12. So f value is 1 by 2. Okay, we got f value. We also have C value, F value. Now we have to find out G value. So what I will do is, after getting F value, I will use this equation 4. I will use equation 4 
to get the value of g. So substitute f is equal to 1 by 2 in equation number 4. So what is this equation 4? It is minus 4g plus 6f is equal to 10. So I am substituting now. So what we get is minus 4g plus 6 into 1 by 2 is equal to 10. So minus 4g plus 3 is equal to 10. Right? So next line we will find out this g value. So minus 4g is equal to 10 minus 3. 10 minus 3 is 7. So g value is minus 7 by 4. Now we have all the three values g, f, c. So what we'll do is substitute g, f and c in equation 1. Substitute g, f, c values in equation 1. So what is equation 1? It is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. So we will substitute the values. So that is x square plus y square plus 2 into g value is minus 7 by 4 minus 7 by 4 x plus 2 into f value is 1 by 2 f value is 1 by 2 y c is 0. So I am not writing that 0 is equal to 0. So here we can eliminate 2 ones are 2 twos are. So I'll take LCM so that we'll get an equation of circle that is 2x square plus 2y square minus 7x plus y is equal to 0. I took LCM after LCM is 2. So we're taking LCM. The required equation of circle is 2x square plus 2y square minus 7x plus 2y square plus 2y is equal to 0. Okay. So, this problem is completed. Next problem, you can solve this problem similar to that previous problem. Find the equation of circle which passes through origin and intersects the circles orthogonally. Okay. So, you try this problem. This is a homework problem. Okay. Now, we we'll go to the next problem. Next problem, find the equation of circle which passes through 0, comma minus 3 and intersects the circles orthogonally. So here, we will assume the general equation of a circle. So, let the equation of circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. We represent it as equation number 1. Now the second equation. What is second equation? It is x square plus y square minus 6x plus 3y plus 5 is equal to 0 is equation 2. The third equation it is x square plus y square minus x minus 7y is equal to 0 is equation 3. Now here again what we have to do is we have to do 1 and 2 orthogonal next 1 and 3 orthogonal. So the required equation of circle is orthogonal to 1 and sorry the required equation of circle is orthogonal to 2 and 3. Okay. So before doing the orthogonal condition before using that orthogonal condition it is given that 0 comma minus 3 passes through the equation of circle. So what we will do is the 0 comma minus 3 passes through the required equation of circle. Required equation of circle means what? It is equation 1. So 0 comma minus 3 will substitute in equation 1. So I am substituting now. So if I substitute instead of x and y, we will get 0 plus 9, 0 plus 9 plus 2g into x is 0 and 2f into minus 3 we have to do. 2f into minus 3 into minus 3 then plus c is equal to 0 right so now we get an equation that is minus 6f plus c is equal to minus 9 
this is equation number four okay now after getting equation four what we'll do is now we'll do one and two orthogonal then we'll do one and three orthogonal right now equation one and two orthogonal see equation one and two orthogonal so that is nothing but 2g g dash plus 2f f dash is equal to c plus c dash so we'll substitute in this so 2 g as it is g we are taking from first equation in first equation g is g only g dash what is g dash from equation 2 it is minus 3 so we'll write minus 3 plus 2f into f dash is half of 3 just write 3 by 2 so it is 3 by 2 is equal to c as it is it is from equation 1 c dash is from equation 2 from equation 2 c dash is nothing but 5 so now what we get is minus 6g 2 to get cancelled 3f minus c is equal to 5 so this is equation number 5 equation number 5 right now we have to do see 1 and 2 orthogonal now we'll do 1 and 3 orthogonal so write equations 1 and 3 orthogonal so now 2g g dash plus 2f f dash is equal to c plus c dash so 2g g dash is from equation 3 so from equation 3 g dash is half of coefficient of x that is minus 1 by 2 so we write minus 1 by 2 plus 2f into f dash is again half of 7 by 2 that is 7 by 2 only 7 by 2 is equal to c as it is and c dash we don't have any constant in equation 3 so c dash is understood to be 0 so no need to write c dash so here 2 to get cancelled we get minus g plus 7f minus c is equal to 0. This is equation number 6. Right? See, first it is given that 0 comma minus 3 passes through equation 1. We substituted so we got an equation. Then we did 1 and 2 orthogonal we got 50 equation. 1 and 3 orthogonal we got 60 equation. So here now if we observe the equations which we got 4th. 5th and 6th. In this 4th, 5th and 6th, what we observe is we don't have g term in equation 4. Okay, we don't have g term in equation 4. So, what we have to do is we'll solve 5 and 6 and eliminate g. Okay, solve 5 and 6, eliminate g. So, now solve 5 and 6. 6. So, we are solving equation 5 and 6. Right. So, equation 5 is minus 6g minus 6g plus 3f minus c is equal to 5. This is equation 5. This equation 6, I will multiply with 6. Equation 6, I will multiply with 6. The reason is we have to eliminate g. As we don't have g term in equation 4, I am multiplying 6 equation with 6. So, we get minus 6g 6 sevens of 42f 42f and minus 6c is equal to 0 okay is equal to 0 now we'll subtract so the signs will change for these terms so minus 6g plus 6g cancels now we have 3f minus 42f so 42 minus 3 is it is 39 f minus 39 f and f then plus 5c is equal to 5 plus 6c minus 6 plus 5c is equal to 5 this is equation number 7 we got okay now after getting equation 7 what we'll do we'll solve 4 and 7 and you can eliminate either c or f okay anything we can eliminate now what i'll do i'll solve 4 and 7 and i'll eliminate c term 
so solve equation 4 and 7 so what is equation 4 equation 4 is minus 6 plus c but in equation 7 we have minus 13 and plus 5c so we have 5c that is the reason I will multiply equation 4 with 5 so 5c is a 30f 5 ones are 5 c is equal to we are multiplying with 5 5 9 is a 45 it is minus 45 then after that the seventh equation as it is it is minus 39 f plus 5 c is equal to 5 now we will subtract so that we will change the signs minus 30 sorry so uh, plus 39 f minus 30 f plus 39 minus 30 is nothing but 9 f 5 c 5 c we can eliminate minus 45 and minus 5 is minus 15 minus 45 and minus 5 is minus 50 so f value is minus 50 by 9 f value is minus 50 by 9 now we what we will do is we will find out g and c 2 g g dash from equation 3 what is g dash from equation 3 it is minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 2 f f dash f dash is minus 7 by 2 minus 7 by 2 is equal to c plus c dash so we don't have any constant in equation 3 so c dash is understood to be 0 so no need to write that 0 because c plus 0 is c so the we get minus g minus 2 to cancel minus g 2 to cancel minus 7f minus c is equal to 0 this is equation number 6 so we got equation number 6 now after that after that what we have to do see just observe equation 4 equation 5 and equation 6 now in this three what we observe is in equation 4 we don't have g term so what we will do we will solve 5 and 6 and we will eliminate g ok we will solve 5 and 6 eliminate g because we don't have g in equation 4 first we will eliminate g from 5 and 6 so solve 5 and 6 so when we are solving 5 and 6 what I will do 6th equation I will multiply with 6 6th equation I will multiply with 6 so that is minus 6g plus 3f minus c is equal to 5 now I will multiply with 6 so we get minus 6g minus 42f because 6 7s are 42 and minus 6c is equal to 0 minus 6c is equal to 0 so if we subtract we change the signs right so now minus 6g plus 6g we can cancel so cancel it 32f 3f sorry 42 plus 3 is 45f then plus 5c is equal to 5 see 42 plus 3 is 45f and 6 minus mm, plus 6 minus c is plus 5c and 5 as it is so I will take 5 common so that I will get 5 9s are 45, 5 1s are 5, sorry, 5 9s are 45, then C is equal to 1. This is equation number 7 we know, right? Now after getting equation 7, what we do? We will solve 4 and 7. So when we solve 4 and 7, we can eliminate C directly. So we get the value of F. So solve 4 and 7 equations so fourth equation i'll write now it is minus 6f plus c is equal to minus 9 and after that 9f plus c is equal to 1 so now we'll subtract so that c term we get eliminated so minus 6f minus 9f is minus 15f plus c minus c cancels is equal to minus 10. Now we get f value. So what is f value? It is 10 by 15. 
so f is equal to pi 2 is are 10 pi 3 is are 15 so we got f value as 2 by 3 after getting f value we can find out uh, g value and c value also so we got f value 2 by 3 now substitute f in which equation will substitute i use equation number 4 or equation number 7 so that i'll get c value anyone we can use so substitute f in equation 7 so i'll get c value now so that is 9 f what is f value f is 2 by 3 okay first i'll write the equation 9 f plus c is equal to 1 9 into f value is 2 by 3 plus c is equal to 1 so now 3 ones are you can cancel 3 threes are so we get 6 plus c is equal to 1 c value is minus 5 so we got c value now we have f and c next we have to find out g value so now what we will do we will substitute f value and c value in equation 5 or in equation 6 to get the g value any one equation we can use right now i will try and use this now so now substitute f and c in equation substitute f and c in equation 6 anything you can use either you can substitute in 6 or you can substitute in 5 i am substituting in equation 6 so <clears throat> what is equation 6 it is minus g minus 7f minus c is equal to 0 right now we are we are going to find g value so minus g as it is minus 7 into f value so f value is 2 by 3 so it is 2 by 3 and c value is minus 5 is equal to 0 now we'll calculate this minus g right minus 14 by 3 minus 5 is equal to 0 so we we'll find out g that is minus 14 by 3 minus 5 is equal to g now we'll take mc on that is minus 14 minus 15 by 3 is equal to g so what is g value minus 14 minus 15 is minus 29 by 3 so here clearly the value of g is minus 29 by 3 so g value what we got is minus 29 by 3 so after getting the value c we got all the values g value f value c value so what you do is substitute g f c in equation 1 okay substitute g f c in equation 1 and complete the problem only substitution is left okay right so just we'll recheck the values okay you have to substitute you'll get the equation of circle so f value is 2 by 3 and c value is minus 5 we got so we are substituting in equation 6 so what is equation 6 it is minus g minus 7f minus c so minus g minus 7f minus c so minus g as it is 7 into f value what is f value we substituted f value is 2 by 3 we substituted and what is c value c value is minus 5 but when we substitute minus into minus will become plus 5 okay this is a mistake plus 5 plus 5 we get okay so here we get plus 15 right we will get plus 15 then 15 minus 14 is clearly 1 by 3 right so g value is this is the right value exact value 1 by 3 so what you do is you please substitute g f and c values that means g is equal to 1 by 3 f is equal to 2 by 3 and c is equal to minus 5 in equation 1 you will get a required equation of circle okay you complete this problem next problem <clears throat> find the equation of circle which passes through origin having its center on the line x plus y is equal to 0 and intersecting the circle orthogonally so here only one circle is given 
So first what we will do, we will assume the circle equation. Let the equation of circle we assume as x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 is equation 1 and next and next is the other circle which we have is x square plus y square minus 4x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0 is equation 2 and it is given that the required equation of circle passes through origin. So, since the required equation of circle passes through origin, we will substitute 0, 0, substitute 0, 0 in equation 1. Why we are substituting in equation 1? It is given that the equation of circle passes through origin. Which equation? Required equation. So, which one is a required equation? The general equation is a required one. So, substitute 0, 0 in equation 1. Then what we will get? We will get c value 0, right? We substitute instead of x and y, only c will be left of c is equal to 0. So we got c value. Then after that, what we do is we do 1 and 2 orthogonally. 1 and 2 orthogonally. That is 2g g dash plus 2f f dash is equal to c plus c dash. So 2g, what is g dash? g dash is nothing but minus 2 plus 2f f dash is 1 is equal to c plus c dash. What is c dash? c dash is 4. Right? c dash is 4. So now it is minus 4g plus 2f is equal to 4 because c value is 0. c value is 0. Substitute C as 0. So, 0 plus 4 will become 4. So, we can take common. So, we can take 2 common. So, if I take 2 common here, we get an equation. What is that equation? Minus 2G. I am taking 2 common. Minus 2G plus F is equal to 2. Is equal to 2. So, this is equation number. You can write it as 3. Equation number 3. So, first... 0, 0 we substituted, we got c value, then we did 1 and 2 orthogonal, we get an equation. After that, one more condition they gave. Having center on the line, x plus y is equal to 4. That means, center on the line. Which circle center on the line? Always required circle center lies on a line. So, what is the required equation of circle x square plus y square plus 2 gx plus 2 fy plus c is equal to 0? So, it is given that it is given that the center lies on a line. Which center? Equation 1 center. Equation 1 center is minus g comma minus f. So center minus g comma minus f lies on x plus y is equal to 4. Center lies on the line. Center means what? Which circle equation center? Required equation of circle center. Required equation of circle is the general equation. So, what is the center of the equation? Minus g comma minus f lies on the line. So, whenever a point lies on the line, we have to substitute the point. Now, I am substituting the point. So, we get minus g minus f is equal to 4. I will take minus sign common so that I get g plus f is equal to minus 4. This is equation number 4. Right? Now, after getting equation 4, what I do? I will solve 3 and 4 so that I can eliminate f term. So that is now solve equation 3 and equation 4. So what is equation 3? It is minus 2g plus f is equal to 2. Then g plus f is equal to minus 4. So I will subtract. So this is minus, minus and plus. Minus 2g minus g is minus 3g. Plus f minus f cancels and 4 plus 2 is 6 we are getting. So we can find the value of g. So what is g value? So we we'll get g value. G value is 3 1s are 3 2s are. So that is g value is minus 2. So we got g value is minus 2. So after getting g, what we do? We find out f. So substitute g is equal to minus 2 in equation number 
4 you can substitute in 4 or you can substitute in 3 any one equations you can use to get the value of f so i am using equation 4 so equation 4 is g plus f is equal to minus 4 so g value is minus 2 plus f is equal to minus 4 f is equal to minus 2 here minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 f value is minus 2 now we have all the three values g f c values so now substitute g f and c in equation 1 so that is equation 1 is nothing but the general equation it is x square plus y square plus 2 g x what is g value minus 2 here minus 2 into x plus 2 f y plus 2 f y and c value is 0 so just write is equal to 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 okay so now what we get is x square plus y square minus 4x minus 4y is equal to 0 is the required equation of circle so this problem is completed next problem find the equation of circle which passes through the points 2 comma 0 0 comma 2 and orthogonal to the circle 2x square plus 2y square plus 5x minus 6y plus 4 is equal to 0 right so now first we will assume the general equation of circle let the equation of circle be assume as x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 is equation 1. Then after that we have one more equation of circle but here in this equation the coefficient of x square and y square is not 1. It is not unity. So you have to divide the equation of circle by 2 to make it as unity. So I divide by 2. So what we get is x square plus y square plus 5x by 2 minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0 equation 2 equation 2 so now after this equation 2 what we do the points are given to us one is 2 comma 0 other one is 0 comma 2 so first what I do uh, 2 comma 0 passes through 2 comma 0 passes through equation 1 so this 2 comma 0 I will substitute in this equation so what we get is 4 plus 2 fours are 8 g see I am substituting 2 comma 0 in equation 1 so 4 plus 8 g plus c is equal to 0 see 2 square 4 and y term is 0 right then after that 2g into 2, 2g into 2 is 4g, 2g into 2 is 4g and this is 0 plus c is equal to 0. So what we get is 4g plus c is equal to minus 4. This is equation number 3. After that we have one more point that is 0 comma 2. So 0 comma 2 passes through equation 1 ok so now the 0 comma 2 will substitute so this will become 0 and this will become 4 sorry this is this equation we are substituting so 0 plus 4 and this is 2g into 0 plus this time we get 4f 2f into 2f plus c is equal to 0 so the equation is 4f plus c is equal to minus 4 is equation number 4 we got. Okay, now the points passes through the circle. So we substituted, we got equation 3, equation 4. After that, what we'll do is we'll do 1 and 2 orthogonal. So we do 1 and 2 orthogonal. So right. Equation 1 and 2 orthogonal. So equation 1 and 2 orthogonal. So orthogonal means what is the condition 2g g dash plus 2f f dash is equal to c plus c dash. So now 2g what is g dash? g dash is from equation 2. 
So what is g dash from equation 2? g dash from equation 2 is 5 by 4. What is g dash from equation 2? It is 5 by 4. Why it is 5 by 4? You can check here. 2 g dash is 5 by 2. See, 2 g dash is 5 by 2. Then g dash will become 5 by 4. It is 5 by 4. So I substituted then plus 2f into f dash. It is minus 3 by 2. f dash is minus 3 by 2 is equal to c plus c dash is 2. So I write plus 2. Now we will just simplify this. So 2 ones are 2 twos are. So we get 5g by 2. We can cancel 2 2 or else we can write off minus 6f by 2 minus 6f by 2 then minus c is equal to 2. Right? So just we will take LCM here. So we get 5g minus 6f minus 2c is equal to 4. This is equation number 5. This is equation number 5. Number, right? So first what we did using the two points we got two equations. Then we did 1 into orthogonal we got one more equation. Now we have to solve those equations. Now we have to solve those equations. See first what I do I will solve 3 and 4 and I will eliminate c. So I will do it. Solve equation 3 and equation 4. So what is equation 3? It is 4g and we don't have f term. So just write 0f, 4g plus 0f plus c is equal to minus 4 and the next equation is 0g. We don't have g term. Plus 4f plus c is equal to minus 4. I am solving 3 and 4. And I'll eliminate C term. So minus, minus, minus. Plus C minus C get cancels. Then after that we have 4G minus 4F is equal to 0. Right? Minus 4 plus 4 is 0. So now I'll take 4 common from this. So that I'll get G minus F is equal to 0. Okay? g minus f is equal to 0 is equation 6. Equation 6 we got. See, now we have solved 3 and 4. We eliminated c. Right? Now we will solve 4 and 5 and again we will eliminate c. So solve 4 and 5. Solve 4 and 5 and eliminate c. So before eliminating c, in equation 5 we have 2c. So I will multiply or equation with 2. So what we get 0g plus 8f we are multiplying with 2 plus 2c 0g plus 8f plus 2c is equal to 8. I am multiplying with 2. So 4 2s are 8 and 2c is equal to 8. And equation 5. Where is equation 5? This one. So this is 5g, 5g minus 6f minus 2c is equal to 4. This one as it is. So in order to eliminate c, I just add the terms. Plus 2c minus 2c cancels. So we get 5g plus 2f is equal to minus 4. Alright. Now we can take this as equation 7. Right. Now, what we have to do is, you can solve 6 and 7. Okay. Solve 6 and 7 or what is G value from equation 6? G value is F. What is G value here? G value is nothing but, see, G value is nothing but F. G value is nothing but F. So, what I will do is, I will just continue the problem. So, from... 6 and 7, what you do is, you write 5, what is g value? It is f. So, substitute f plus 2f is equal to minus 4. So, 7f is equal to minus 4. 
f is equal to minus 4 by 7 right if f is equal to minus 4 by 7 as g is equal to f as g is equal to f since g is equal to f so what is g value it is also minus 4 by 7 so that g value is also minus 4 by 7 now we need to find the value of c so what i do is i'll take one equation i'll take either 3 or 4 any one i'll take so just i'll do it here to complete it so now substitute g value in equation 3 substitute g value in equation 3 so that i can get the c value so what is equation 3 it is 4g plus c is equal to minus 4 so i'm substituting 4 into g value is minus 4 by 7 g value is minus 4 by 7 plus c is equal to minus 4 right so now it is c is equal to minus 4 plus 16 by 7 we are getting so c is equal to minus 28 plus 16 by 7 so c value is you have to subtract these two so that is minus 12 by 7 so we got c value is minus 12 by 7 after getting all these values what you have to do is you have to substitute back g value f value c value in equation 1 okay substitute back in equation 1 and simplify it you will get the equation of circle so please do that okay next problem <clears throat> Find the equation of circle which cuts orthogonally the circle x square plus y square minus 4x plus 2y minus 7 is equal to 0 and having the center at 2 comma 3. So first <clears throat> let the equation of circle we assume x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2f5 plus c is equal to 0 as equation 1. Then the given equation of circle is x square plus y square minus 4x plus 2y minus 7 is equal to 0 as equation 2. Right? Now, no doubt 1 and 2 orthogonal are there. So, 1 and 2 we have to do orthogonal. Now, but one more condition they gave having the center at 2 comma 3. So, whenever they say center, refer always the general equation. So, what is the center of the circle? Center is minus g comma minus f. That minus g comma minus f is given as 2 comma 3. So, minus g comma minus f is 2 comma 3. See, having the center at 2 comma 3. So, center means what here? Minus g comma minus f. How can we say it is minus g comma minus f? Always the center lies on a line or the center they refer with respect to the required circle. Here what is the required circle? x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fi plus c is equal to 0. So what is the center of that general equation? It is minus g comma minus f. So here minus g comma minus f is given as 2 comma 3. So we equate this minus g is equal to 2 minus f is equal to 3. So g value is minus 2 f value is minus 3 right now after getting these two what i will do is i will do 1 into orthogonal equation 1 and 2 orthogonal so orthogonal condition so what is orthogonal condition it is 2g g dash plus 2f f dash is equal to c plus c dash so we will substitute so 2g as it is g dash is from equation 2 so what is g dash from equation 2 it is minus 2 so i'll write minus 2 plus 2f f dash is 1 is equal to c as it is and c dash is minus 7 so i'll write minus 7 so i get minus 4g plus 2f minus c is equal to i get minus 7 right so after that what we do already we have g value f value i'll just substitute in this equation to get the value of c so now i'm substituting 
minus 4 into g values minus 2 plus 2 into f values minus 3 minus c is equal to minus 7. So you continue this, we get 8 minus 6 minus c is equal to minus 7. 8 minus 6 is 2 minus c is equal to minus 7. 2 plus 7 is equal to c. So clearly c value is 9. So we have the value of c as 9. So now we have g value, f value, c value. So what we will do, we will substitute. Substitute g, f and c in equation 1. So that we get the required circle. So that is x square plus y square plus 2gx. So what is g value? Minus 2x plus 2fy. f is minus 3 into y. And c value is plus 9 is equal to 0. So I substitute this. Now if we simplify, we get x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 0 is the required equation of circle okay so these are the problems for today's class so practice this problems and one problem you try which, which was given as homework now what i'll do is i'll give some important questions in circles that is only uh, seven marks questions i'll give okay the seven marks questions you will get from first exercise and you'll get from the last exercise in circles and today we did system of circles system of circles carries six marks one question will get four marks question and the other one is two marks so system of circle carries six marks so whatever the problem we solved in today's class is four marks the last class which we did is in system of circles is two marks okay so this class is completed see these are uh, some important questions in circles this is only from exercise 1a and first solve these questions next class i'll give some more important questions so these are seven marks questions only six questions are given so please solve these six important questions next class uh, we next class i'll give some more important questions in exercise 1a e also so that you can practice those problems okay the, the class is completed thank you